Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Hello everyone and welcome to the Nerdy Quail. Today, we are just going to be messing around and starting a new career in MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries was an epic game exclusive for about a year and it just was recently released on Steam. It has the Heroes of the Inner Sphere DLC, which adds a um, kind of like a open-ended career mode. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and we're going to start making a new career. All right, we're going to start off our starting location and starting mechs. So we have House Davian, the Free Rosso Haig Republic, which I'm kind of a fan of, House Liao, House Kirita, House Merrick, and of course House Steiner. So we're going to look at what, and these are just what areas we're starting in, not necessarily what faction we're aligned with. So let's see here. Um, as I said, I'm a fan of the Russell Haig Republic. House Davion has some fun mechs. The Steiners have the Assassin, Javelin, the Flea. And... Or the... Merrick has the Assassin, Javelin, Spider, and Flea. And Steiner has... Commandos, a Locust, and a Griffin. So we're going to start off with House Steiner. Alright, now we're going to name our company. So we're going to look at all the logos. We'll be, even though we didn't start with House Kirita, I actually like this name. Ravens of the Rising Sun. There you go. Alrighty, so we have the Ravens of the Rising Sun. Okay, so we're going to start off. We're going to look at what transmissions we have. If you're familiar with the career, it's got some of the same starting quest here. But essentially our object objective is to reach Merc Reputation Level 4, which we will accept. Alright. We are going to look at what mechs we have available. There's the Commando. There's the Griffin. We had a couple of Commandos, and I believe we had a Flea or a Locust. And that is a Locust, yep. Alright. So what we're, I think the first thing we're going to do, actually, is we're going to change our paint scheme. Something that's a little bit more to our aesthetic. Snowfall. Ooh, we can do that. Primary will be white. I like that. Apply to everyone. So, next is we are going to look at the star map. Okay, we got a conflict area there. We have Merrick to the south. We got three million. So we are going to go start heading off and more of a conflict area, the center. And to start it, we're going to go to Mezana. Alrighty, we arrived at Mezana. Doesn't look like there's any contracts here. So we're going to head there. Another 100,000 down the drain. Got 20 days pass. But we'll have some contracts available. Alrighty, let's open up the contracts. Okay, we've got Steiners attacking pirates. Steiners attacking independents. We're going to do pirates. All right, we have, we're slightly above neutral with the Steiners. They're paying us 800,000 to deal with this. So we're going to do some damage covering. We've got one more negotiation point. And we're going to dump that into salvage. 
No more negotiation points. And we're good. Alrighty. Everything looks good. The Griffin is a laser boat. Yep. And then we got a, the standard commando. The SRM version of the commando. And we have a locust. Alright, looks good. Let's start this mission. We are the vanguard for an imminent invasion of the area. Your job is to eliminate any defending forces and capture the enemy fortification. Once you've destroyed the radar dishes directing the anti-aircraft fire, our employer promises to land a few extra units to help you out. Okay, not a really particularly fun map for Max. He is going to be a problem. Uh, let's see. We're going to start heading off to the point about right there. And there we have artillery, lava, all the good stuff. Alright. I'm used to the commando, which has long range missiles. There, Let's see commander. here. Approach the hidden object to pick it up. Yep, we got some salvage here. Let that take its course. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Okay, got it. Package acquired. Alright. Okay, we got one. We're gonna start taking out these guys. Yeah, thought that would have taken them out. Oh, well, I didn't step on them. Okay, I got that one. Totally used to having an auto cannon, and a rather large one at that too. Okay, one down. We need to find those artillery. I think they're over there. That's our next objective that we're doing. We're going to take out that artillery. We have a mech in the area. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. We're having a good old time. Firing. So for those who are just new to my channel or don't follow my Facebook, I've been working on a custom controller for MechWarrior 5. Um, check it out on my Facebook page. It's pretty neat. It's not done yet, but it will be quite neat. It will be able to be used for MechWarrior 4 and 3 and Hoping to as well. Okay, let's see. And I've also made a curl controller before as well. Okay, so I've not really used a Griffin before in almost any game except for the turn-based battle tech one. Uh, I think this is a brawler of some sort? We'll see. So we're gonna attempt to take these guys out. So I'm not used to blue being large laser. Well, that's danger close for them. Okay. That should be the artillery. Yep. Perfect. Alright, so there's no more artillery. We're going to take that out, which my landsmates did. 
And I'm going to send one of the commandos to take care of that one. And the other commander to take care of that. Uh, my armor is not doing well. Trying to get one of my primary targets. Well, we'll start off with this. Alright, looks like they took out the enemies. Okay, took out some turrets with some sniping. Doing some blind fire, trying to get my mission objectives done from range. One down. Okay, we got another tank. We're good there. We have a turret in that direction. We'll slow down. We'll try to get use our missiles, but we're losing locks. go through and yeah we're gonna go straight this direction our armor isn't doing the greatest but everyone else is doing fine we got some friendlies Next, we need one more enemy unit in here. There he is. That target is ours. And we tangled with him before, I believe, because he already was damaged. So we're walking through a wall. Okay, we're gonna try to plaster him with LRMs over the wall because he has that big auto cannon. Okay, that auto cannon's almost out. Friendlies won't get in front of me. Okay, auto cannon's out. We should easily be able to just take out the center torso. Perfect, now we're going to capture the base. We lost armor on our left side. Arm. Okay, we got Lead alls. Makes it easy. Just try to be long range support for my guys while we're doing this. Uh, 
capturing's going well. captured. Now we're going to destroy the last of the enemy forces in the area. Looks like we have something over there. He's down, and that's it. That's our first mission. Oh, one more. Seven enemies incoming. Okay, and they're going to be dropped off over there. Okay, we will go to... Start commanding people. Jump jets. Alright, these two mechs aren't the biggest threats in the world. I thought I was going to miss that. Okay. Let's go around. We can start picking off the center torso. And we got him in the center. Okay, we're gonna need to hold off from firing for a moment. Okay, let's get past him. Weakening. Unfortunately, because we're on a lava planet, heat's a little bit more annoying. Alright, I think we have a spider mech left somewhere. We'll get on top of here, take a look around. There he is. Oh, it's a... It's a, uh, fire starter. Perfect mech for this planet, though. We'll just kind of be out of the way up here. All clear, Commander. Their defenses are now blind. The nice. Has started, and your job is done. All stations, this is Sierra One One. Be advised, we've just completed re-entry. Lights are green. Dropships can now land. Sierra One One out. Awesome first mission for the Ravens of the Rising Sun. Cool. 
We just leveled up our company from level 1 to 2. And we were able, they gave us an auto cannon and 893 or 894,000 sea bills essentially. Here we got 9 salvage, which unfortunately we can't claim either of the mechs. But what we are going to do is we're going to look at what's available and we're going to start snagging things to start building up our arsenal of resupplies. Alright, so that's that. We're going to get all these lasers here. We're going to get a jump. No, we're going to get rid of one of the lasers there to get one of the jump jets. And, yep, that seems good enough. Alright. The damage taken was 162,000, so the 600,000 damage coverage should cover that for us. Um, however, that's only if we're in an industrial area. So let's see, we took out two mechs ourselves, and almost everyone except for Lieutenant McCleary took out a mech as well. Good. Okay, so we're going to check out our battle mechs. And we're just going to tell them to start pairing things. And we're going to take a look at the timeline to see what we have in order. So we're looking at least 17 days for a refit for the Griffin. Uh, so... They said we want to make our way at least to a border of some sort. What if we went... There's nothing good in the middle here. So this is 34 days. It's 27. We'll head to this system here. Everything should get repaired. All right, everything's repaired and there is at least one contract here. So we're going to... Take this and it's against House Steiner, which, you know, we're in the beginning of the game, which that's kind of fine. It's an ice planet in the evening, and it's a raid. Okay, so we're going to increase that by one, and unfortunately, let's see, I could do that. No, I'm just going to do cover some damage, higher payout. I think I'm just going to go for the higher payout in general. We don't have too much negotiating power with the independents. Our employer wants a selected number of buildings taken out. Intel provided by them can only give the general area they're located at. You will have to recon the precise objectives on site. This area is heavily guarded, so watch out for hostile reinforcements. All right. So we're going to check out this close one first, and we're going to see if I can see what we got here. We're going to take out this turret at range. Okay, that turret's no longer a problem. Time for us to move in. This is where uh, a raven mech would be nice. Edgar. Okay, that's down. Take out that. There's an objective on the top of the hill here. I think I can get it with the large laser. Okay, we'll continue moving on. We're gonna head this way. Head to the west. And that really stuttered for a bit. Hmm. Alright. Uh, yeah, that's our last one. I think there's a VTOL here. And it is no longer. There it is. 
Let's see if we can dry fire some of these LRMs to hit it. We got a mech here. A little urban. Target shared, engaging. And something that will be really annoying if I don't take it out quickly. I ran into low lane rocks. Bane of our existence. take out this LRM carrier and we're gonna hoof it back to our dropship before the enemy reinforcements come. New target oh dear. Alright. We'll start peppering them with LRMs. to go. Stop pop tarting. I didn't have a lock. I think I should be able to take him down with ease once everyone starts behaving. Something to loot here. There it is. Especially in the beginning, loot is so important to get. Excellent find, Commander. Beginning recovery now. Okay, so that was fifty thousand C bills, which is quite nice to get. You're clear to board at Mechbay number one. Welcome back. And too bad our rest of the salvage of the rest of the mission isn't going to be that great. But our payout should be quite decent. Yep, over a million. Uh, we couldn't even get that if we maxed out all the um, share salvage shares. But we're going to snag this AC-10 here. And we're going to snag a heat sink. I don't... Oh, yeah. I guess we did take that out. And... Yeah. Looks good. Uh, the Locust got a little beaten up. And what do we got? Everything is awesome. Cool. Let look at the mech market really quick, because I kind of want to... Upgrade from a locust as soon as we can. And in addition to that, I am going to sell this burst fire auto cannon 10. Okay, we are going to look at contracts. Let's see here. We can either target pirates or target independents. Well, I say we will see who pays better. Okay, we're going to stick with the independents and target the pirates. Online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. 
We have been tasked with the destruction of an industrial center marked at nav point alpha. Be sure to watch your fire around any pipes or tanks, as the contents have the potential of being explosive. One thing with MechWarrior 5 that I've noticed is that all the maps have impassable, like, mountains that are perfectly rectangular. Walk on up to the treasure to pick it up. Don't mind if I do. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Cargo acquired. Yeah. Ooh, Once PPC you found though. The targeted asset, move up to it, and we'll begin the recovery procedure. Oh, well, there's another one. Take this one too. Brilliant. Payload acquired. Do, 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 do. All right, and that was worth fifty thousand. Perfect. Alright, things are supposed to blow up around here, which is perfect for me. Because is that what we're supposed to go after? Who knows? Warning. We have hostile mechs closing in on our outpost. Target acquired. Two mechs. In the tank. We'll start taking out whatever we can at range. Yeah, there's another griffin there, so we're gonna have we're gonna focus fire on that. Approach the hidden object to pick it up. New target fire starter. Package acquired. Our target is now marked. Go get him. Kind of doing passes at each other. Keep on smashing. They are hurt, but our contract calls for us to wipe them off the face of this system. Try to get the spider out of the way so they don't have that. Highly maneuverable mech to deal with. Okay, that's done. Get him. Got hit by something nasty. Why, whatever, I walked over. Where are you? Or something's firing a PPC at me, maybe. Get the AC2. Ah, that's what's firing a PPC, I think, maybe. Stop circle strafing it, or we just come straight at him. Let's see if these explode. No. Alright, we'll circle around again. Reacquire. Let's try to take off. Shred some more armor off of this Vindicator. Yeah, 
you. Get some distance. Do some indirect fire. Okay, he lost all armor in his one of his arms. Which is good. Okay, he lost the torso. Perfect. And so now we're gonna focus fire on the griffin again. just going to parallel run him. I think we're all just kind of focusing in, which is nice. Take out the VTOL. What do we got? We got a fresh spider over here. And we got a locust over here. Now, theoretically, we could just continue attacking this base. Let me... But... They have a lot of light mechs that are fast. But we are losing pieces of all our mechs left and right. I think we're just gonna keep just putting in some damage on both mechs and the base. Because everyone is losing components now. So we just start piling in the damage and then get out as soon as we can. I think that'll help. Now that we're inside. Oh, hello. Almost there. Let's see here. We'll just keep dropping these LRMs. Damn it. That's what? all I have left. Okay, let's get out. Wish I could dumb fire these. Almost there. Okay. The whole place has been flattened. Now, let's get out of here before more trouble yeah. Head to the evac zone. This mission was a lot more trouble than it was worth. Lost the locust. Let's see if we can take out spider. Lease. Let's 
instead of something that can actually keep up with us. It's down. We just lost one of the commandos. We're going to spend a lot of money repairing. <laughs> Alright, time to cut over. And we just lost the last lance mate. Mission success, Commander. Time to get out of here. Yeah, that was not quite very successful for us. Though the amount of damage we inflicted on the enemies was quite astronomical. Alright, we increased our reputation to three. And we are going to need take these jump jets, take the heat sink, take this laser, because we're going to need those to repair things. Uh, Lieutenant Murphy died. Sorry, man. So we... Need to look at going to an industrial planet hub of some sort. There's an industrial hub there. There's one here. I think if we start doing some repairs that we can do... Okay, got an extra large laser. Place these. Pair that. We'll start the work on that while we're flying. So the reason why I wanted to go to the industrial world first is because it will take less time and less money to repair everything. And we need to hire a new pilot. So... Let's see here. Long term, this guy will probably will be better. He has more skills. And he's terrible at armor. But we're gonna st stick with him. Okay, next, battle mechs. We are gonna look into repairing this one as well. Commando. Now we're going to look at the mech. Oh, that would be nice to have. We need one more million to get that. If I sell the Locust, that's 400,000. Uh, well, we'll keep the Locust for now. 